Hello and welcome to the session on Introduction to PLC Program. So as you know, as discussed earlier in the earlier tutorial, that there are five different programming languages which are IEC 61131 approved that are ledger diagram, Boolean language, sequential functional chart, functional block diagram and instruction list. Today we will discuss the basics of ladder diagram. As you know ladder is the similar to the relay logic. So there are same as relay, there are two types of context, the input context we say, that is one is NO, is normally open context and the second one is closed as NC, the normally closed context. So what is normally open context? It is an electrical context that allows electricity to flow when we give input. It means whenever we will give input, the NO, normally open contact, will become normally closed contact. And what is NC contact? So NC is electrical contact that allows electricity to flow until we will give input. It means normally it will be closed and whenever we will press the input, when we will give input, at that time the NC contact will become NO contact and the supply will be interrupted. The second thing is output. As we know, there will be input and there will be output. So, output is called as an output or coil. The representation of coil in PLC programming, ladder programming is something like this. Now, if the coil is powered, it means whenever we give the input, the output is energized. And if not, means there is no input and output is de-energized. So here we have tried to show the representation of the input table file operation, how the PLC will store the input in its table format. So see, whenever there is an input, we have not given the input over here, this is no contact, means normally open, means we have not given the input, the binary 0 is stored in the input table. Okay. Whenever we will close the input, means whenever we will close the switch or we will press the switch, the binary bit 1 is stored in the input table and it will go to the program. Now, as same thing, there is output table file operation. It means whenever there is no output, means whenever there is no decision is taken as the program written, then whenever there is a 0 as the out, in the output, uh, is the input of the output, then the output is off. It means 0 ok and the second thing is that whenever there is a binary stored as 1 in output table the output will be turned on and the bulb will be turned on so this is called the input and output table file operation now as you know the boolean math means and and or is a basic thing so this also can be formed through the ladder programming language in the PLC ok so the programming allow bit manipulation also by using boolean math. So the main operation as one is and, symbol and, it means A is equal to B and C. So if both B and C are 1, then A is 1. If either B or C are 0, then A is 0. So A is output and B and C are input. Same in OR thing, as you know, the symbol is OR, A equals to B or C. It does mean if either B is 1 or C is 1, the A is 1. Means either one of the input is 1, the output A is 1. If both B and C are 0, then the output is 0. So how we can represent this thing in PLC? So see, we have shown over here, there is an AND operation in the PLC. So context plays side by side to form AND logic. It means contact A and contact B and this output as coil. So when coil gets powered, when contact A and contact B both are on. If one of them is off, output is off. Now same as that, you can see over here as an OR operation. So contact place one on top of each other and to form the OR statement. 
Same thing over here, you can see contact A and contact B are placed on top of each other and it is showing output as a coil. So here the coil will get powered on if contact A or contact B is on. Either of one is on, the output will be on. Either or suppose if both are off, the output will be off. Now we can even form the complex logic by combining AND and OR both together in the same run. Like coil gets powered if contact A and contact B or contact C is on. It means if you want to turn on the coil, contact A must be on and from these two, contact B and contact C, if one of them is on, the output is on. When the coil will be off, if you want to know, then suppose if the contact A is off, the coil is off, though the contact B and contact C both are on. Or the condition is like that, if suppose contact A is on and contact B and contact C both are off, the output will be off. So like this, if suppose contact A or either of contact B or contact C is on, the output will be turned off. This is the data flow overview of the PLC programming. This is called, this horizontal line is called rung in the PLC programming and as we are going on adding these one by one on below each other and it will be shown like two parallel lines and one horizontal line and multiple horizontal lines, it will form the uh, structure like a ladder. So this programming language is known as a ladder logic. Here you can see, suppose if we say this as of A, this as B and this as C and this as output, then here A should be on, B should be off and C should be on, then only output will be turned on. If either of A and C are off, the output will be off or the B is turned on, then if suppose A is there and C is also there and B is not there then only output will be on or suppose B is there then B is turned on then this NC contact will be open so it will become a NO contact and though A and C both are on then also output will be off. Now next tutorial is introduction to PSC programming where we will discuss about the set, reset, timer, counter and how, pro how through the programming we can generate the set instruction that is in the next tutorial. Thank you and have a nice day.